Hello and welcome to another episode of Give Yourself Some Leeway with me, your host, Eugene Lee. Today I want to do another book summary of one of the most impactful books on my burnout recovery journey. And today it's Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. For those of you not familiar with David Goggins, he's a former Navy SEAL and in his book Can't Hurt Me, he shares the story of his painful childhood, his struggles with obesity, self-doubt and a lack of direction in his life. But what sets David Goggins apart from the rest is his unwavering determination to conquer his inner demons and rise above life's challenges. He goes on to become this ultra endurance athlete, including a 135 mile run through Death Valley in scorching heat. He always talks about this cookie jar metaphor too, about drawing strength from your past triumphs, from your past wins and using them to fuel your present challenges. So I hope you enjoy today's key takeaways from David Goggins' Can't Hurt Me. So the first key takeaway is embracing the calloused mind. David Goggins introduces the concept of the callous mind, which is the ability to push through mental barriers and physical pain to achieve greatness. He believes that most people live with a comfortable mindset, always seeking an easy way out when things get tough. Now, to overcome this, he emphasizes embracing suffering and hardships as these are essential for personal growth during his navy seal training all the candidates go through hell week a grueling five and a half day training period to test their mental and physical endurance david goggins describes how he used his calloused mind to persist through excruciating pain sleep deprivation and freezing cold ocean water, eventually earning his seal trident. What motivated True this grueling week was this mindset, don't stop when you're tired, stop when you're done. The next key lesson is taking ownership of your life. David emphasizes that blaming external factors or blaming other people for your failures only perpetuates a victim mentality. True growth comes from acknowledging your weaknesses and taking responsibility for changing them. For example, David early on in his life, he struggled with obesity and first he when he applied for Navy SEAL training, he failed the physical fitness test multiple times. Now, rather than blaming his genetics or blaming his upbringing, he acknowledged that his lack of discipline was the reason for his failure. And he commits to this rigorous training routine and a rigorous diet. And as a result, he sheds that weight and finally passes the test. He says in the book, don't expect to be motivated every day to get out there and make things happen. You won't be. Don't count on motivation. Count on discipline. And finally, he says to embrace the unknown. He encourages readers to embrace the discomfort Embrace the uncertainty in, per, in, in pursuit of growth. People often shy away from things because they're unfamiliar with them or they're uncertain of the outcome. However, David Goggins believes that true transformation happens when we step out of our comfort zone and confront our fears head on. This is great because this really resonates with the growth mindset. Embracing discomfort so that you can give yourself an opportunity to grow. For example, when David accomplished becoming a Navy SEAL, 
he set his sights on ultra endurance racing. He was doing ultra marathons in this crazy 135 mile race through Death Valley. He had no prior experience with these events, these ultra endurance races, but he welcomed that uncertainty and pushed himself beyond his limits to succeed. One of the most inspiring passages from the book is this one. Most of this generation quits the second they get talked to. It's so easy to be great nowadays because most people are just weak. If you have any mental toughness, if you have any fraction of self-discipline, the ability to not want to do it, but still do it, if you can get through doing the things that you hate to do, on the other side is greatness. So I really hope you liked those three key takeaways. It is such a motivational book and I highly recommend that you pick up a copy or get the audiobook. By the time you finish it, I'm pretty sure you're going to want to go for a Forrest Gump style run, whatever the weather, out in a raging storm or out in the snow or out in the scorching heat. And yeah, you're just going to want to go for a run and you're going to have that motivation, that initial motivation to grow in some way. It's just a recap again of the three key takeaways. He teaches us about embracing that calloused mind, taking ownership of your life and taking that responsibility to change and being willing to embrace the unknown in order to grow. Because by doing that, you can overcome any obstacle that stands in the way between you and your dreams. So I really hope you enjoyed the summary. Grab a copy of Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. Grab either a hard copy or an audiobook, but read the book and just get that in-depth journey into this incredible story. And I really hope that it helps you develop that growth mindset and help push those boundaries for your personal growth and fulfillment. If you want to go deeper, you can always reach out to me at giveyourselfsomeleeway.com. You can book in a call. Let's have a chat. If I don't hear from you, until next time, take care. <laughs>